This is Algebra 2, Lesson 68, Number 1. And it says I'm supposed to write the solution in terms of I. Which kind of tells me I'm probably going to get an I when I do this. So I'm not going to bother factoring or anything. I'm just going to... I think I'll just add 22 to both sides. And then I'll just... That's an S. S squared. What is that? 112 and 22... I think that gives me negative 90. So then if I square root both sides to get s by itself, I can do that. When I square root, remember I have to go plus or minus on these things. So then I have s is equal to plus or minus. Now when I have a negative under a square root, I can just let it come out as an i. So that's where the i came from. I factored out, or I didn't factor out, but I took the fact that um, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, and I just brought it out here. Now 90, I know 9 goes into 90, and 9 is a perfect square, so it's kind of like I could write that as 9 times 10, and when the 9 comes out, it turns into a 3. So this is going to be written as 3 root 10 times i. And so it's both. It's two answers, positive and negative. Um, is that good enough for being in the right form. Write it. Write the solutions in terms of i. I should probably just go like this. 3 root 10 i and negative 3 root 10 i. I think I should write them all the way out like that. And then I can check that and see if that I'll works. be right back. Uh-huh. I can check that. That's number 1 on 68. Um, yep. That's fine to write it like that.